Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I just really quickly wanted to do a video, um, and this is going to be kind of like a vloggy style uh, video, but on some art stuff that I recently got. I'll show you the one thing that we like the most. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to clean up right here while I show you what I'm going to show you. Okay, yeah. So, we got, let's see. We got this little, um, well, this tray I've had, but these are from a company called Honey Sticks, I believe they were, was what they're called. They're made at 100% beeswax. I love these uh, crayons. They are great quality, but these are 100% natural. Not that I would want my one-year-old to put these in her mouth because they are a choking hazard, but if for some reason, I don't know, she takes a bite or something, <laughs> which isn't going to happen because I'm always watching her, but still, you never know. Um, <clears throat> these are 100% beeswax. And they're great quality. She's going to show you. See? They look good. They come on really easily. I don't remember how much they were. I think they were like 20 bucks. And I will link the Amazon link down below. Then, you know, you can find out how much they were there. But there's, I believe, 12. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then 12. So, yeah. Here's the box. Hopefully, you guys can see that. But they say they're beeswax crayons originals. They they smell, let me just tell you, they smell really good. Uh, they're not cheap, though. I don't think so. I mean, I don't know. Uh, but they seem to be lasting a long time, which is good. Uh, made from 100% natural beeswax and non-toxic pigments. Uh, unique chubby shape. Perfect for little hands. 12 vibrant colors to create masterpiece. Delicious natural beeswax scent and handmade in New Zealand. I know that you can find other crayons for babies, you know, for younger, like Maya, for example, made out of uh, vegetables and fruits, you know, so that's kind of cool. I thought about getting those, but um, I don't know, I just haven't. Um, and then, so that's the first thing I got her, and we're loving it, I mean. Mommy, well, I'm making a happy face. Okay. And then I also got, went to Target to get some water wipes. That's pretty much the only reason I go to Target is get get water wipes. But I found this little like in the dollar section, or I don't know what that section is called anymore. But this is just my chunky pad. It's just a bunch of white paper. And I love it because you could take it in the car and just use it to draw. So I got her that. Uh, that was cheap, obviously. And then the next thing I got, this is something that I really, really love. Probably my favorite thing I've gotten so far for her. Is, uh, this right here. It's made in Germany. I don't know what the brand is. I found it on Amazon. But it was like the only one that I can find with this amount of little containers. But I gotta tell you guys, I can actually make this myself. Uh... Oh, yeah. I don't think I've ever mentioned that I love, like, woodworking stuff. Uh, I'm not... Okay. I'm definitely not any kind of expert or anything like that, but I like to, you know, I'm kind of... I like to be crafty and stuff. So, I am... I would say I'm a little crafty, but definitely nowhere near, like, these people that build, like, cool, really cool toys and stuff like that, like wood toys. But I could do some things. <laughs> so, I could totally make this, but I didn't feel like doing it. Um, I don't Mommy, know. I'm I was just kind of lazy. But let me just show I'm you. I'm going to make you a beautiful thing to Okay, cool. So, what I love about it is that the main problem we were having before is that we were wasting a lot of paint. Because I was using eight cartons. Just like I was recycling eight cartons. And it's just a waste of paint because if they don't use it all, well, then the eight carton just goes in the trash because the, the paint doesn't last. With these, the paint lasts. You know, you can just close it up and you're done. I have my kids with me today, so it's a little crazy. As you can see, this one's over here. Um, <laughs> just trying to escape. But um, anyhow, this is definitely something I wish I would have gotten earlier or at least made earlier. I am thinking about making these and selling them. I don't know, just for fun and why not. Uh, I'm, go I'm starting a website, just so you guys know, 
you know, the name of my, it'll be, it'll basically be the name of my channel, which is Natural American Baby, uh, just like a blog or whatever, but, oh, okay, uh, and I'm thinking about making these just for fun, just because I like, I don't know, doing stuff, <laughs> so I might sell them on there, not expensive, uh, I don't, I don't know, I'll see how much, how hard it is to make them, but I'm pretty sure that I can make these. But this was, I think, like 30 something dollars. I think it was like $34, maybe, or $35. And I will link it down below, of course. Uh, but I love them because they come with these little jars and you just close it. Again, it's like really nicely made, yeah. as you can see. Mommy. Oh, cool. Now wow. You can look at it every day. <laughs> you got so chocolate on your face. <laughs> cut it off, but don't break mm -hmm. it. It's okay. Oh, okay. I'll take mm -hmm. Look at this one. And don't get glue on you. There you go. Okay. So it's, uh, I don't know, I forgot what kind of wood it was, but it's like heavy duty wood. It's very nicely sanded. Uh, there's no like rough edges. I just really like it. Uh, and mainly I like it because I get to save the paint. It's not wasteful. But, uh, so yeah, I've seen some where they have like, a, you know, a bunch of little ones and then one big jar so that you can put water. Uh, I, I don't know. I didn't see that one on Amazon and I'm kind of like impatient. I didn't want to order through another website where I'd have to wait for it to be shipped because I have Amazon Prime so it's really fast. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, I am going to build something here with this piece of wood. So you guys will see what, what I build with this. I'm going to sand it, stain it. It's going to be pretty awesome. So there's that. I'm not sure if I've ever showed you guys these. These are really awesome. They're just um, colored pencils. You can get them on like uh, like Bella Luna toys and I think there's other websites that have them. But they're really awesome. She really likes them. They're probably one of her favorite co uh, colored pencils. So um, I can try to find them and link them down below. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I actually did get this is not art, but I did get this at uh, Target. At the dollar section. I'm not a big, like, we don't really sit down and do these types of activities. But Lyric has been showing a lot of interest in things like this. So, I thought I would give it a shot. She really likes math. So, um, it's kind of cool. Uh, I got her a different one. This is the one that we haven't worked on. But I had another one. I don't know where the other one's at. And it's just like tracing Cause she's been really, she's been really interested in tracing let numbers and stuff. And so it's, it's fun for her, you know, I don't know. I kind of just go with what my daughter is interested in at the moment. And I'm not a big, you know, sit down and do lecture type. I, uh, if you guys are, uh, familiar with my channel, then you know I'm... Okay. When it's dry. I think I mentioned that I'm a really big uh, Reggio Emilia fan of education. <clears throat> I mean, I don't have a specific, like, favorite. I mean, there's so many different kinds. There's, like, Waldorf and all that. And I, I like them all. Like, there's, a, there's bits and pieces that I like of every single one. So, I kind of just do a combination of stuff. I'm not, like, a big, you know, die hard of anything. <laughs> but, um... You know, I tend not to do like sit down lecture type of stuff, especially she's, she's only three and a half. Uh, she's going to be four in November, but she, if she, if she shows an interest in something then I kind of follow it. And I just thought this would be fun because we have another one. I have no idea where it's at, but she, it, she, her friend had one and she, you know, we went to her, a play date and her friend had one that her mom had gotten at Target. And so her friend uh, showed it to Lyric, and Lyric really liked it. So I thought, she said she wanted one, so I thought, okay, I'll get her one. And so I did, and she worked on it, and believe it or not, she got everything right. I'm surprised, because I've never sat down <laughs> with her to do, like, specific math. Like, okay, you know, this is one, this is two. Uh, you know, she just learns through play, essentially. <clears throat> but, yeah, so these are kind of cool if this is what you're into. Uh, they're like little workbooks, preschool workbooks. Uh, this was only, let's see, a dollar. Yeah, so not too bad. 
Uh, not bad at all, actually. And what are you doing? Hi. 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 Your hair. Her hair is a little crazy. She's been playing it in the mud a lot. We've been uh, letting her play in the backyard in the mud because, I don't know, I think it's good for them and she absolutely loves it. And it really entertains her. I mean, she hasn't been playing in the mud today, but um, we have an area in our backyard that we haven't put papers down. We're like fixing it up and right now it's all dirt and just, just a big pile of dirt and we're going to flatten it out and put sand and pavers but since we haven't done that yet she's taking a liking to sitting in the dirt and just like throwing the dirt around and putting it all over her and just feeling it <laughs> i think it's kind of funny so <laughs> i've been letting her do that a lot oh and then i also this isn't something i bought this is something i made it was really really easy oh sorry my camera just got really dark uh, it was really really easy so let me just show you guys what it is because this one's over here wants it and it basically is just play-doh and it was like the most simplest uh you know ingredients you can do it's natural so i'm not that nervous about maya playing with it she likes to put her hands in it and just feel it and stuff um it'll last a while you just have to keep it in an airtight container. I will do a video on the ingredients if you guys are interested. But it's super soft, as you can see. Yeah. It's very soft. Easy to work with for little... I don't know. I think it's good. Like, she's not putting it in her mouth. Obviously, I don't want her to put it in her mouth. But if she does, it's not the end of the world. Oh, and I also used for the food... For the coloring, I didn't use food... Like the food coloring that you buy, although you can buy natural food coloring. Uh, I just made the food coloring with cherries. <laughs> That's it. I just melted uh, some cherries and then put them in the blender. And then that's it. That's what it And there's, you know, it doesn't stain your hands or anything. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh. It's, it's a fun little thing. The thing is, is like Lyric loves to play with Play-Doh and I usually just make it for her. Uh, there has been times where I bought in the, the Eco Play-Doh, but I think it's kind of expensive. Uh-uh, no. And um, I'd rather just make it because it's so, so simple to make. So. so that's about it, guys. This is just a really quick video. I just wanted to check in with you guys and show you some of the recent purchases that we've made uh with the chunky paper uh paper like lyric goes through paper a lot i buy and i try to like i recycle the paper we use the back side of all of our paper and then we just you know boxes that we get from amazon or whatever we try to use those to draw on just anything you can recycle we try to do in terms of uh drawing because i hate being wasteful and I'm trying to teach her not to be wasteful as well so I try to explain to her that she used to use she needs to use both sides of the paper uh, yeah so or we sometimes use like I don't know whatever we can find just just you know anything like I said like for example if you go to Ralph's or you know Trader Joe's or wherever and you forget to bring your recyclable bags you know you end up having to buy or if you live in if you live in LA you end up having to buy paper bags and I'm not going to just throw them away. I let her draw on, draw on them. So there's a lot of ways you can uh, be less wasteful, I guess, when it comes to uh, materials. Maya, yucky. Anyways, <laughs> all right, guys, I will see you on the next one. Say bye. Bye. We'll see you later with chocolate face. We'll see, um, we'll see you later. We'll see you later with... The chocolate piece. <laughs> With chocolate piece.